Welcome, everybody. Welcome in. We are going to do this vintage cube draft here. I am going to use these Playums McPointums. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Twitch plays Magic Step the third. Frank must take the third card at chat names. Wow. All right, let's just do that. So here's the stipulation. <laughs> That's a good one. Danny, your deck is still in my in my queue, by the way. Don't think I have, I have not forgotten you at all. Uh, FNM, I went 3-1. So we're going to join this draft queue. Add com step. Okay, don't. Just please be quiet. You're being very loud. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Danny DB. Gosh, dang it. It's not copying the thing. Buttery biscuits. That should have worked. Okay. Twitch plays magic. The third. Frank must take the third card chat names. Okay. Well, here we go. Okay, third card, the chat names, starting now. Let's do it. Let's do it. To keep me from into you, man. Oh, Natural Order was the third card I saw. That was good. This is good because it doesn't incentivize. No one wants to be the first person, right? This is actually kind of tricky. <laughs> All right, well, it is a Natural Order. I'm going to say stop. After, uh, and I hope you guys can respect, once you see stop in the chat, I hope you guys can respect it and stop naming cards so that we can get to the next one. Okay. Because everything after stop is going to count for the previous card, so make sure you, uh, these, these obviously don't. Reanimate is the first card I've seen so far. Green. All right. Well, that's... I assume you mean Green Sun. There's two Green Suns, so we're going to take the Green Sun, Zenith. All right. Third card. This is this is strange because no one wants to be first and no one wants to be second, right? And then you have to time it perfectly after the second guy. So there, theoretically, there should be a lot of like competition right after you see the second uh, the second card named. Which is there's like a lot of there's a lot of tension there's a lot of tension to this. Also, be sure to use to use whole card names because if you use a card name like Whisper, and then there's Whisper Silk Cloak and Knight's Whisper in the pack, it's super awkward. So just use whole card names, especially if they're easily misconstrued, or if there's like, I mean, you're, like if you say green, it's like, well, I don't know. I guess that could be Green Sun Zenith, but. Okay, so I think Nighthawk was the past one. Uh, Harmonize, Stone, uh, Stone, Oblivion Stone, I guess. Thraggy Boy. Yep, Thraggy Boy looks like the third pick. You guys are doing, you guys are doing well. All right, Heath it is. Heath it is. We got a Signet, Elves of Deep Shadow, and Heath. And uh Oh, two. Heath is is 3 and 4, so that's pretty uh Oh, Sneezy Mike's at it again. What exactly are we doing? Jackal? Jackal. It's a jackal. It wasn't a jackal the first ten times. Why would it be the second ten times? Yeah. 
If Elk Tears was here, he could make a take make us take this fire and ice. Got snake, confluence, cobra. Cobra it is. Nailed it. Nailed it. Alright, we're doing it. I feel like we always uh I feel like we always draft a, a green esque deck when we uh when we do this. Are we three for three on green decks with Twitch plays? Cause that's pretty funny. One hundred gibbity bits for a traditional big green. <laughs> Is that is that the uh, is that the is jib are gibbity bits the uh, the preferred? Okay, Boros Reckoner is not a real card. Elder Hero. Elder. All right, so two elders. Really? Over oh, Vivian Reed. Elder Hero. Elder. Yep, gotta be Elder. Vivian Reed is significantly better than Elder, which is actual trash. But uh, that's how we do it. So. The thing I like about Elder is that it's natural order. So I, I mean, we can find a, we'll find a silver lining, guys. Full art snowlands, yeah, seems good. Elder does not ramp. Elder ramps in no way, shape, or form. It puts zero lands into the battlefield. Okay, uh, prime. So like I said, guys, please use full names. Time is really confusing, and I have to actually look for a card that has time in the name. Same thing with Prime, because I'm like Primeval Titan. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna abbreviate, at least use like Primus, so that just because I'm having to go through a lot of data in the actual chat, I'm actually having to. It's like I'm having to parse this, and like once you get to the later picks, it's it's really difficult. So. See, Titan Druid Druid. So Druid is the third pick. Take Druid. Thank you. See in quotes. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. 42 months in a row. That is a good amount of time. Got Mystic Snake, Snake, Unmaking. Unmake. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to take this white-black card instead of one of the green base cards. That's that's an interesting choice, I suppose, but hippity-bippity bits are the best, but I ain't got none, though. That's 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 fair. I, I understand. Weird weird choice when we have a natural order to take the, the black-white card instead of the card that... All right, so we have Avenger... Judgment, Soulfire. Danny, you're ruining your own step here, buddy. All right, Soulfire Grandmaster, Revengers, and Dakar. Oh, boy. That's a thing, I guess. Yeah, people are trolling, but it doesn't matter. Like, this is how it works. Uh, vindicate, Harnize, Vindicate. Okay, so we do get to take another Vindicate, which is nice. I mean, it's nice in the fact that if we're playing Anguished on Making, I guess we're also playing Vindicate. Uh, we just passed Harmonized, Harmonized Garrick, and uh, what's the other one? Yep. Shut up and take my money. All right, we got Burmaz Day, Burmaz. All right, so Burmaz, it is seems good. Last picks are probably going to be rough. I'll just highlight the card that seems best. Four seconds. Tassiger, Tassiger, Tassiger. Yep, that's that's where I was leaning as well. Vivian Reed comes back because you guys uh, have no souls. Reed, Reed, Scrounger. Okay, well, it was Scrounger there because... Oh, boy. Okay. 
comically, someone said read, read, scrounger, so it actually should have been scrounger, but uh, seconds are sec. Okay, thank God you picked Mox Jets, you friggin' maniacs. Okay. <laughs> this is a good way to get, this is a good way to get chat involved at the very least, because then they could, uh, you know, there's a guarantee that they're going to start naming things, so that's good. All right. Oh boy. Soulfire Grandmaster, huh, Danny B? Danny DB? You missed my donut. One hibbity bibbity buck for Jundosaur. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so hold on. Slurring one time. We can keep predicting no less. Garrick, Garrick, Atarka. Okay. Well, Atarka it is. Nice red card for our for our Abzan deck. That's, uh, that's what we're picking, I guess. If I buy an engagement ring for a future fancy to mox it. Well, wait, that's not really how that equation works, though, Matthew. Are you? If you think you're going to... It's not a gift exchange, buddy. It's... It's... It's literally a symbol of love. So, uh, if you're if you're buying an engagement ring with the expectation that you're gonna get something of equal value back, it's not. I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think you're doing it for the right reasons here. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. I mean, on you know, on the bright side, Dragon Lord Tarka is at least a. Uh, a green creature. Swirt, brightly, manata. What's swirt? I have no idea. It's like someone there. I have to just swirt. I don't know what that is. Oh, sword? Sure. Okay, brightly, manatide. Okay, I guess we're manatithing. I guess we're manatithing. Though they keep them out of my ogre hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manatide, ladies and gentlemen. Sport? <laughs> We're all out of Bart Light. We're all... <laughs> Do you have any more Bort license plates? Oh, the Troll Mox Manatide. That's a classic. Okay, Tracker. Tracker, Tracker. No, Tracker, Tracker, Marsh? Yes. Thank you. I wanted this Marsh Flats considering Vindicate and Anguish Stone Making and all these other ugly, terrible white cards. Okay, this is good. You saved you single handedly saved us, Ben Benji. Benjamin. Uncle Benjamin. Do I get to choose? No, it's the third it's the third it's the third third. Titan. Prime Command Command. Okay. Primal Command? Over Grave Titan? Over Sword Splashers? Ooh, this is... So I see Titan, Prime Command, Command. Dang it. Dang it, bub you dubs Dang it. Primal Command. Oh, dang. Wanted that Grave Titan. And away we go. Alright, Belsnickel, Nightmare Smokestack. We're not even gonna be playing this hot trash. <laughs> oh god. Gross. Relic was third? No, we had Belschnickel. And then we have Nightmare, and then we have Smokestack. Okay, so we have Dig, Delta, Witness. Witness is good. That's a good... Alright, you, you redeemed yourself. You redeemed yourself with Witness. Put this, 
Hot trash right in the sideboard. Belschnickel is what we call Belzenlock. That's a real card. Depends on if you've been impish or admirable. Oh, you thought it was nonsense when you're like, wait, what is that? I just think that's nonsense. And then you figured it out. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Can I come? Verdant. Land. <laughs> land. All right. I mean, we know you're saying Verdant Cat. There's only one land, so sure. It's a good one. Eh, Rex Sage is also very, very good, so. All right. All right, people, let me tell you about my Verdant Catacombs. Need a ones that we didn't do Verdant Catacombs. Oh, this could, be a, this could be a good one, guys. This could be a good one. Don't ruin it. Moat. Squoze. Moat's not a real card. There's no moat in here. Squoze. I don't know what that means. Oh, Scoos. Sylvan Emrakul. Okay, so I think it's Emrakul. Unless moat is a real... I don't think moat is a real thing, right? Like, you guys are just... Because Squeeze, Sylvan, Emrakul, sure. I would have rather had the carry added here because I think we have enough big things and no real way to put them into play. But what can you do? Okay, Oath, Bitter, Bitter. Okay, nice. That was a good. That was a good save, guys. You guys are saving yourselves here. This is nice. Bitter, bitter, bitty. Our Abzan looks look, is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good now. Lily, thicket, thicket. Okay, thicket. Sweet. Yes. I was really hoping for a thicket there. Got no beats on land duty up in here. Don't ruin it. Don't don't ruin it, guys. Your mom? Okay. Bitty bitty bits. Glint metal worker shouldered. Alright, shouldered was the 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 third real the real third real card in this pack. Okay, this this is irrelevant. This one doesn't really matter, I don't think. For the last like two or three picks, I'm just gonna pick whatever I like because uh, we have Angel Bells. There were there were literally two votes for that one. So, all right. Now, here we go. That it's there's okay. You guys are just gonna name Spear after the okay. So Liliana the Veil, Grim Grim. All right, Grim is good. Nailed it. Grim Grim. That's old Grim Grim. Oh god. You guys are gonna be monsters. Guys make the right choice here. Do the right thing. Copy Savannah Savannah. Oh, Savannah? Over Sylvan Library? Savannah will probably come back if we don't take it. Library will not come back, so that's rough. Danny with the visions in the chat, That's that ain't even right. Okay, okay. Wake, High Tide, Wake. Okay, so I think Wake is the third. I Saying High Tide, you're a legit monster. <laughs> Should we have taken another card over Savannah? Oh, man. That's... Yeah, you guys pulled a real Rob in the chat here. Yeah, Mirari's Wake seems great, especially with the Woodfall Primus and uh, Emrakul. Okay. Shut up and take so my money. Over here. This is for RPG Badger. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. Really, <laughs> really appreciate it, my dude. 
All right, so hold on. I got a hit stop. Regrowth Bonfire Polu, which is Polucronos, I bet. Yeah, that seems fine. We don't have any four drops anyway. Okay. Kerwit, you are awesome, dude. I appreciate you. My, my man. All right, I'm going to take this Polucronos. All right, I guess we got to update the rent goal. Got an early July rent to go in here. Thank you guys for, for everything. You guys are wonderful. The old rent a rhino. Wall, wall, wall of. Oh, I got a wall of in the Thank chat. You. Yeah, I agree that it is wall of roots. I think it's better than incubation druid. Enemies, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. My man. Yes. Oh, that was the July rent arena. Is that the June? Did I? Now I'm confused on how my rent's stacking up here. Selfish Comics, you're wonderful. All right, did we say stop yet? Let's say stop. <gasps> oh. Oh, this is an exciting one. Hope you guys don't mess it up. Hope you don't mess it up. <laughs> I was really hoping that being on uh, being on land duty, you would have picked the scrubland, but instead you picked Armageddon, which is literally the opposite of being on land duty. So we don't get a fina we don't get a Nissa, an Assassin's Trophy, a finale, or a scrubland. We get an Armageddon. It goes well with our Mirari's Wake, in case you guys didn't know. It goes well with the uh, the old the old Mirari's Wake into Armageddon. That's a it's a quality quality interaction there. Oh, thank God you guys picked prime time. Thank God you guys can put away your memes for a second to pick the right card. Woo! Got the old Armageddon over the on color dual land. That's good. I want to take the look. We can't even get a. We can't even get our scrubland with it. So that's sad. Coarser, coarser, coarser. All right, you did it. You 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 kind of redeemed yourself just a little bit, just a scotch. Oh, three nights in a row. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Why do we take Wilderness? We have nothing to actually cast with Wilderness. This deck is going to play Wilderness Reclamation. Then it's going to untap its lands. And then it's going to be like, I have not a single instant in the entire deck. So, uh, go ahead. Now I have no lands tapped. And I get to keep Wilderness. And I get to, I get to, you get to play your turn with all my lands untapped. Even though I have literally not one instant in our deck other than Anguish Sun Making, which we might not even play. Lyra ravages ravages. A lot of pain. A lot of pain happening. You guys are monsters and that's okay. So long, Skull Clamp, when we have Bitter Blossom in our deck. So long, Skull Clamp. <laughs> uh. Stop! He's already dead. Sun Titan Pilgrim. Sun Titan, okay. I guess we're Sun Titaning. That seems decent, I guess. What's that? You got Skull Clamp? You got a Bitter Blossom in your deck? Take the Ravages of War. Hmm. Seems good. <laughs> Workshop. Workshop. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good thing we didn't take the Stomping Ground. That would actually let us cast this off of something like Windswept Heath. Uh, again, we're going to default to whatever I feel like I'm going to highlight. 
recruiter recruiter sword okay so that was actually nailed that one and Nissa comes back Solas I don't know what Solas is oh sort of light and shadow I thought it was like a Nicobolas but you guys really you guys really shit the bed with some of these picks I'm gonna be honest with you Ooh, but I guess that's the joy of it, right? Like, that's what we're going for, so. Oh, God. Thank you. Like, I would be all about these if we had more than this guy, this guy, and this guy to really take advantage of it. Instead, we have, like, that's it. We have no one-mana elves. Jundasaur, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Kyers, thank you so much for the resub. This moves so fast, I tried my best for us. I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate you. Also, something sweet just got spoiled. I'll show you guys right now while we're live. Uh, this is a new Modern Horizons rare called Force of Negation. Uh, obviously hearkening back to Force of Will and Negate. So, um, uh, this is, if it's not your turn, it's three mana, so it's basically the cost of a counterspell. If it's not your turn, you may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay its mana cost. So, basically the same, um cause the same uh alternative casting cost is force of will except you don't have to pay a life and then counter target non-creature spell if that spell is counted this way exile instead of putting it into sonus graveyard so not bad um we people a lot of people were hoping for force of will in modern horizons uh the existence of this card means that's pretty unlikely but i think this is going to handle most of the things the reason force of will is great in in like sets like legacy is that it keeps the unfair decks in check, right? Like it keeps, you know, show and tell in check. It keeps scape shift in check. It keeps, it, like there's a lot of modern decks that need to be kept in check. No, this card is not terrible at all. This card's just fine. So being able to tap out, one of the problems with Splinter Twin, for example, is that you literally couldn't tap out on turn three. If you tap out on turn three to play something like Kitchen Finks, they'll just kill you. So one of the biggest problems with Splinter Twin was that you didn't have the freedom to tap out on turn three. Um, so with this, you can basically tap out, play your spell, and then force of negation it if they try to like Splinter Twin, or if they try to scape shift, or if they try to, you know, whatever kind of modern shenanigans they might be getting up to, which I think modern is actually a much more volatile format than like a format like Legacy, so... Um, interesting very interesting card uh it's also a rare not a mythic so that's pretty good that's good for the health of the uh the price on that we have no stomping ground instead we took like uh you know what i don't know so we're not gonna play this guy i don't think we're playing either of these to be honest with you i don't think our deck is suited for them especially with, with cards like marari's wake and nissa which really benefit from having lands in play Force of Will wasn't uncommon, but it was also 20 years ago. That was a significantly different time then. Uh, if, if Force of Will was printed now, it would not be uncommon, as evidenced by the fact that it was reprinted at not uncommon. Um, also, would love to have any way to search for... A, we have no way to search for Black Lands, which is really kind of an issue, um, which makes me really wish we took that Scrub Land. Man, the post-building the post -building phase of playing the... Uh, the, the Twitch drafts is Twitch plays magic is the um, where the, the remorseful feel bads come into play I mean we could just play mount uh, swamps I guess which is pretty bad oh that scrub land would have been gorgeous just gorgeous just gorgeous I'm gonna I, the, only, the only double white card I'm keeping is sun titan because I think it's uh, I think it's good enough I don't want any of the double black cards because let's be honest I don't I mean I mean maybe I could see Shieldred coming in because we have Mirari's Wake or Lotus Cobra but this is 25 cards 
Uh, Green Sun, I think Green Sun and Natural are both playable because we have all three of these guys, which I think is totally fine. I don't want to cut any of our early green creatures. We also took a Savannah over something like a Sylvan Library, which is just criminal. I think we can take one Anguish. We can take Anguish on making out. We already have Vindicate. One more cut. Probably Primal Command because we already have Natural Order and Green Sun Zenith to do similar things. And we can just board that in. Alright, we're probably just going to play two swamps. I guess we have one swamp and one Mox Jet, which is one, two, three. It's four black sources for like five if you count Lotus Cobra, six with Yavimaya Elder. Yeah, for like two black cards. I don't even like Tassigar that much, but we can activate him, so. We have Razor Ridge and Savannah to search for, so I think we can also get away with one Plains. And eight Forest seems probably like where we want to be. Yeah, this seems good. Um, do we want anything over the Tassigar? I don't think so. I do like Shielder, but the double black is pretty scary, especially when we can't natural or, or green sun zenith for it. So I'm just gonna play it like this and we'll see what happens. This could be rough. <laughs> oh man. So another card that was also spoiled. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Deranged Hermit, which you should be if you're watching cube videos. This is Deep Forest Hermit. A similar hermit, but different. Same cost, 5 mana, same power and toughness, 1-1. One, one. Uh, Elf Druid, which I think is the same creature type. And when it enters the battlefield, create 4 1-1 one, one Squirrels. Squirrels get plus 1, plus 1. So it's literally a Deranged Hermit, right? Except instead of Echo, it has Vanishing 3. So you don't have to pay an extra 5. Um, you don't have to uh, worry about double up, doubling up on this. You're just going to play it once, and then in three turns it does die, which shrinks your squirrels, but you still get to keep your squirrel, your squirrels. So it's basically the same thing as Deranged Hermit, because it was very rare that you either paid the echo cost for Deranged Hermit, or that they didn't just kill your Deranged Hermit anyway. So I'm pretty sure this is just a strict upgrade. Not a strict upgrade. It's not strictly better, but it is, it is an upgrade to Deranged Hermit, so... Yeah, I think it is a better deranged tournament, which is pretty sweet. I will keep this hand. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and bumping in time. Oof. And long ago, somebody left with the cup. Yeah, nobody pays the Echo anyway, so you're basically getting three free turns of the, uh... Oh, I see. I got my little, I got my little Xenagoose. The Xenagoose is loose, my dudes. So this is actually nice, because we can go crack this. Get a Swamp. Pay... Maybe we don't actually, maybe we just Vindicate the Xenagoose. That seems good, right? Because next turn we can actually get back Vindicate. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we have green, green, black. Green, green, black, white. Oh god, they're going to do something broken. As long as it's not a Grave Titan. Or a Shieldred. Seems good. Oh, Harmonize. That's good. I was worried you wouldn't have enough cards to really... Wow, and a Knight's Whisper. That's good. That's nice. Windswept Heath. Solid. Solid gone, man. Oh, boy. I have four cards in the graveyard, so Emrakul costs nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually cast an Emrakul. We 
Eureka. Cool. Heartbeat of Spring, Land, Land, Mesmeric Fiend, Liliana. Um, that was not that impressive when we have no... Couldn't you just cast these things? Okay. I mean, we're not in good shape, but I mean, all things considered that Eureka itself was pretty bad. Green Sun Zenith could be nice, right? I'm just going to block here, right? No, do I? Four, five, six. We got a two. So even if we kill this, we're basically dead next turn. I mean, if we draw wins, if we draw wood, Woodfall Primus, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we can't even cast it without the Druid, so I guess we're just going to take it. Oh, I forgot about the Heartbeat. I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yep, all right. Why is there a mountain in the deck? That's absolutely terrible. I forgot that was happening. I didn't even realize that was in there. That's just terrible. Uh, let's another forest, I guess. All right, that was a good time. You guys have a good time? I had a good time. That was something. Oh, I know why they. I know why they put it in. Yeah, obviously we have an Atarka, but I'm like I didn't see it in there, so that's kind of sad. Well, we're going to Natural Order or uh, Green Sun Zenith into the Atarka, presumably, but not with this hand. This hand is better. I will keep this. We can get a Scrubland with this. Oh, wait, JK. We got a uh, Armageddon, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that on top. Well, the idea is to not cast a Tarka. It's Natural Order or to Green Sun Zenith into a Tarka. Like, I don't care about casting it. And we also have Lotus Cobra for red, so. Turn three Elder, turn four Armageddon. Yikes. Wow, Mana Flare too? Holy smokums. This is what the beatdown looks like. Yep. Yuppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's crack this dude. Yeah, let's put them on. Uh, yep. Got a green and another green. <laughs> Drill land. Sounds good. All right. Pretty sure we're out of things to even search for that. Which is pretty bad. Because we couldn't get any planes with this, and we have the one swamp from our deck, so Martial Lance is actually just a blank. We literally drew a card that does nothing. Unless they play Urborg. Johnny Big Large and Talls, what's going on, my dude? Oh, that's fantastic for us. I think.
future. Oh boy, Emrakul. Emrakul's doing it. Hmm, I see. So we're going to do this. Yes, green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what I can do is this, right? I can play her. I really want to attack with the land, but we're not going to have enough mana to do both. One, two, three, six. So we're just going to play you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Give me your turn. You people had enough? Give me your turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is this target player? Target opponent. That's sad. Draw. Eureka. Eureka's castle. <clears throat> okay, okay. Well, how do we deal with that? Okay, so they get an extra turn after this one. What if they... Emrakul. They take our turn. How does this even work? That seems confusing. So we're going to make them discard the Emrakul. Uh, return it from your graveyard. Return target creature from your graveyard. Target player discards a card. Destroy an artifact. Uh, choose target player. Destroy an artifact. Okay. Discard a card. Discard Emrakul. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Eureka. Okay, put a land into, put it, um, nope, put a land into play, sure, it doesn't matter, okay, use less cover's ability, no, cast this idiot, there you go, and I guess you're done. So we're going to have Xenoghost and Blooming Marsh in hand. That's fine. Stupid Jawa, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. 51 months? That's a lot of time. Yep, you got it. I'll block this guy. Okay, well... All right, so up game. They have Mana Flare and they have Heartbeat of Spring. That's a lot. That's a lot of things. Probably want Anguish Done Making here. Probably want another swamp. I ran out of money since moving across the country, now I missed my surprise Pikachu emote. Well, you know what they say. Hajigulashi, what's going on, my dude? Oh, wow, we also have a Mox Jet. Oh, this is a nice... That was a nice little opening there. I'm going to pass to you. Oh, the old double mox. Look, our opponent's at it again.
thank you. Well, that's pretty ridiculous. What in the earth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are literally one away. Oh, man. Buy a visionary with a gifted sub. Let's go, Grim Monolith. We have four mana. Wall of Roots. Corsair of Crucifix. Oh, that would have been nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are one mana away from. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. That is a thing. Well, don't like that. Realistically, I guess we don't. We can take them off of red. I don't know if that does anything. I mean, we probably just want to take them off of one of these two idiots. When a player attempts to land for land, it adds one of that type of land produced. So these are basically exactly the same, but their text is different, right? Whenever a player taps a land for mana, whenever a player taps a land for mana, comma, that player adds one mana of any type. That player adds one mana of any type. That like they're. Like this fits, they, they fit on their lines differently, which leads me to believe that there, there's a different word here, but it's not. It's the exact same wording. Six. And we're just going to play Woodfall Primus. Oh, actually, hold on. How much mana do we have? We have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can go eight, nine, 10, 11. We can actually play everything. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of Mana Flare. Oh, uh, get a Plains, and we'll get a Swamp. And we will draw that. That's pretty good. You thought they'd have the enchantment that when you tap one land, it taps them all? You thought they'd have that here? Oh. How nice. How nice. If people could stop fucking top decking teeth and nail against me, that'd be great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, yeah, that's something. That is something. I guess that doesn't work. What? What? 
What? Why did we? This is very weird. All right. Well, I mean, if we we're gonna make four four. Then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to block the Kozilek. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we're winning this game. We were drawing Mox Jet, right? Like, this guy comes back. Yeah, all right. That was, that was very weird. I mean, I don't consider that a win. Like, we definitely lost that game, but... You know, we're also we also didn't draft our own deck, so I don't know. It's weird when your opponents like I feel so bad for you, and then they concede. Like, I, I mean, I don't I don't want a pity victory here by any means, but you know, it's yeah. I don't know. What can you do? play first oh boy this hand is something this hand is something is it something good no it's not it's not is it something bad yeah yeah oh look at this look what we did my life is a series of pity victories I'm okay Thank with it you. Oh boy, Waldo, 59 months in a row? Good lord, man. Get out of town. Or stay in town, you know, it's up to you, man. If you want to get out of town for the weekend, that's cool. If you want to stay, that's cool too. It's all good, whatever your choice is. Stay in town, leave town, whatever you got, man. And sometimes you just gotta wear a monocle. Everybody's got moxes. It's all, it's all, it's, oh, good. The old turn two mox into Rex Sage, your bitter blossom. And to strip mine your basic land. These matches have been fun. I've been having a good time. Yes. Shut up and take my money. Strip mine. Strip mine. Get back here. Get back here, strip mine, and kill my last land. Fantastic. A fun victory. Both sides played so hard that I believe... Uh... Travis, think what happens when the meter is full of the donations to the end. Yeah, they just, they just disappear into the void. I don't know... Uh, I don't know where to go now. I get too emotional about magic. Do I seem really emotional right now? That's weird. <laughs> I mean, like... Okay, my bad. You can't take away the only thing in my life by top taking a card in, my, in your deck? Do you mean you can? You can take away the only thing in my life? That's insane. This hand is pretty bad, right? All four of these idiots. Okay, we'll try this. Eric, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I will keep this. Wow, magic is all I got, bro. I had no idea. That's super weird. I like how people in chat know more about my life than I do. That's so weird.
what's going on? Like, I feel like you're, I feel like your intention, I feel like your intentions are good, but like, I also feel like you're kind of being condescending and mean about it. So it's kind of weird. I'm kind of like, I don't know what to make of this. If I sound so pitiful when you top deck Tooth and Nail, like, I mean, I'm going to get upset about it because you're on top deck mode and I'm trying to like play the game, right? Like if I wanted to just roll dice and like randomly see who wins the, who wins like the, the, the dice, I could be playing craps or something, right? Like, I mean, there's, there's tons of other games I can play where I want the, the outcome to be determined by completely random things. So like, I think it's completely reasonable. What's the point? There's no point in getting upset. People don't get upset because there's a point to it. No one gets upset because there's a point to being upset. Hey, why are you upset? Well, because there's a point to it. There's a valid point to being upset. They get upset because it's a natural human reaction to something not going their way or something disappointing them. You think I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. Like, you're really being kind of ridiculous, dude. Also, apparently you were just watching the stream while we were playing, which is also kind of shitty. So, like... I don't really understand what's going on, I guess. Like, all your all the things you're saying are super hyperbolic. You've been playing Magic for this long and you don't realize it's a luck game. Yes, I don't realize it's a luck game. I don't realize that. Like, come on, dude. Are you being serious right now? Like, no, of course I realize it's a luck game. Like, that has, you, like, you're, making, like, you're saying things that have no logical backing whatsoever. You, oh, no, I turned off the stream after I top decked the tooth and nail. So you top decked, you, 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 you were watching the stream while we're playing our match. And then you turn it off once you top deck a card. Uh. Did I, I got mad for like five seconds and then I tried to figure out what to do. Like, I don't understand what you're talking about, dude. Like, I can get mad for like six seconds. It's totally fine. That's a reasonable response to someone top decking a thing that literally ends the game on turn four. I think being upset is a natural human reaction, my dude. Like, I don't think that's really super ridiculous. Like, I just got strip mine. I'm totally fine. We're playing Magic the Gathering. I don't understand what's going on, man. Not really. Okay. Well, I, okay. It's a game, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Everyone in the world who has ever gotten upset at losing a game, you are in the wrong football game a baseball game if you get upset when your team loses the world series or the the super bowl you are not in the right to get upset because those are games sorry guys those are games no one should get upset at a game ever if you have a, a, an emotional visceral reaction to to a losing something that you, you're investing emotion into um you're incorrect to do so you should ignore those feelings uh act like you're an emotionless you know uh, you know, passive creature and uh, just, you know, go on with your life. Just pretend uh, pretend it had no impact on what on you whatsoever because some person who's watching you might be offended by that. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to offend somebody who's watching your emotional reaction. And I think that's important. Just like, I don't understand. Like, you're putting top text something and like, yeah, I'm going to get frustrated. I, mean, I was frustrated mostly because it literally happened just the other day. Um, Tooth and Nail was the exact card they top decked. So like, Thank you. a little obnoxious, but I mean, I didn't think it was like, I mean, I didn't feel like I held on to it. Like, as they conceded, I was still trying to figure out what I could do to get out of the situation. And I don't understand. Like, it's super weird that they were watching the stream up until the point, like, like, I'm in the wrong for having an emotional reaction to losing the game, but they're in the right while they're watching the person they're playing against? Like, what the fuck? Like, how how whack is your moral compass? Oh my god. <laughs> how long? How long before they start PMing me on Moto? Well, like, literally the exact... Um... 6.36 is when Thwok said it. <sighs> I 
Oh my god, who cares? Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god. Shut up and take my money. How much would you charge? Because it is a deck trick, but it's really not. I want to see if you play stuff on olives. Uh, 34 rhinos. Now I know it was a standard deck when they made the decks. So get back to me if you're interested. Are we talking about like in modern? That crazy uh, deck with like 34,000 rhinos. Why would you turn on the stream when you top deck the tooth and nail then? Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. Like, like so you're just going to keep harassing me? Like, you're going to, like, open a chat on Magic Online? Like, fuck off, dude. I also didn't ban anyone. I rarely ban anyone from my chat. So. Oh, good. You had the... I, I, hold on, I can't be upset about this. I can't be upset that they had enough mana to exactly Mind Slaver and cast Mind Slaver and activate it, so... I'm actually really thrilled about this. This is pretty sweet. I don't... Wait, that, that comes across as sarcastic, though. Um, fuck, I don't know how to respond, guys. I really don't know how to react right now. I can't get upset, because it's just a game. But... I'm also not super thrilled, because, you know, the object of the game is to win and to to, to best your opponent... Okay, uh, so I guess I'll just be passive about it. This is just fine. Okay, gonna kill that guy. Got it, got it. Okay, okay. Okay, you're gonna crack that, not gonna find anything. Okay, seems good. Look at my whole deck. It's not very good. It's not very good. Okay, so after telling me to learn how to read, uh, learn to read, um, he said, hope you cannot be a baby about losing to top decks in the future. And then they left. So... I will try not to be a baby about top decks. I will, I will show zero emotion. It's funny because it's like I just got a little upset. Like I didn't even like I didn't get mad at him. I didn't curse at him. Shut I wasn't upset at him. I never get mad at my opponents, right? Like I'm never like, hey man, wow, this dickhead top decked this card. I can't believe this luck sack. Like I'm never like insulting my opponent's skill. I'm never I'm never insulting my opponent. I'm never like calling them names. I'm never gonna be rude. I was never I'm not gonna be rude to them in chat because it's just it is just a game. I agree with that. But on the same hand, like if I'm just hap like sitting here in my own like world getting a little frustrated without actually expressing negativity towards someone what's the problem like i don't understand like excuse me you didn't affect me directly or indirectly with your negativity but please don't get negative when i top deck a card against you even though you were totally hospitable in chat and you didn't say anything rude or condescending or mean to me and you said you too when i said good luck have fun i'm still upset that in your personal in your personal space, you got a little upset by this top deck. Like, what? Why does that bother you? What do you care? But I didn't I didn't ask for the win. He was I I, I didn't I I was literally just sitting there trying to figure out plays. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know, man. That just feels shitty. I was I, I didn't hurt anybody. Like I wasn't hurting hurting anyone by having a, a little frustration towards a top deck like that. That I ultimately got over in in a matter of seconds. Like I, that I that I I pro projected no negativity towards towards any human being for. Like that's just stupid.
They're at six life. Well, that's pretty crazy. One, two, three. Eh, can't do that. Hmm. You're right, it's not worth it. I agree with you completely. But the problem is, like... Like, I'm an emotive person, right? Like, I get upset about things. I get... Uh, I, I have reactions to things. And I, you know, I, I like to speak my mind. You know, there's, there's things like that. That's just who I am, right? So, like... I'm going to get upset when I when I, when I when I opponent top decks things. I'm going to get excited when I top deck things. And I'm going to get pissed when, like, people feel like they're entitled to control the emotions of other people. Like, it's just shitty. So, <sighs> that's just kind of how it goes, man. Like, that's just like, that's just the package, right? Like, I mean, I mean, there's other magic players like, you know, Matt Nass or Reed Duke who are going to play their matches and just be totally calm and collected and composed whether they're doing really really well or really really poorly and uh that's that's how they are i'm completely different i am more animated i am more jovial you know i mean I'm probably not jovial jovial has uh, more of a positive uh connotation to it but like you know like i mean a lot of you guys say in the youtube comments that like the reason I come here is for the passion. Like for the oh, yeah, you just said for the passion for the game. A lot of people come here because like I am human. I'm a human dude who who exhibits emotions, whether positive or negative, when something happens. Like if I just want to sit here and be like, okay, they top deck tooth and nail. See if we can do anything about that. Or if we just top deck like an Emrakul that we really need and we can cast it, I can just be like, okay, we top decked Emrakul. We're just gonna cast our Emrakul. No, dude, I'm gonna get excited about that. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, this is the sickest top deck ever. Or when they top deck, I'm gonna be like, oh god, it's unbelievable. That's a great the top deck. It's literally why they have why I have the laugh track emoji or uh, meme on my on my stream. Like it's just because there are swings, you know, and it's like I don't know. Like it's it's weird to be like, hey man, I started watching your stream immediately after I top decked this card and you didn't say anything in the chat. I didn't even say anything. So it's weird that he like top deck that he top decks this card. He plays it. I don't say anything in the chat. And then he's like, let me go to his stream to see how he's reacting. Like, why? What compels you to do that? It's so weird to me, man. We cannot... Oh, yeah, okay. We got the green. We got the green. Well, they have five cards in hand and an arcane artisan. So my theory is that we're going to attack with this guy. They are going to put something into play, block it, and then probably kill us. I didn't even see that they were back. That's actually hilarious. I'm not even like... That's that's pretty funny. Yep, that is fine. Well, they didn't put anything to play, so that's the thing. I don't really have a way to see what they said now. I, like, I don't even know what he said. Did he really say he was a troll? Like, that's... It's whatever, I guess. I mean, like... I mean, that seems pretty obvious. Like, it's not... Yep. And that's that's gonna be the game.
It's weird to me that this is like what you have to do with your Sunday. It's Sunday, dude, and like this is what you have to do with your time. Just, God, you gotta find something else to do, man. Like, you gotta find a better way to... Like, you're gonna criticize me for getting upset in one match, but then you're gonna, like, continue harassing me and trolling me. Like, what? <laughs> what? Unbelievable, man. Danny DB, super sorry about the uh, the stipulation draft turning into this hot mess. I really apologize, man. This Thank is not you. the uh, ideal way I wanted the uh, the theme of like the 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 what do you call it? Um, can't think of the word I want to use. One, two, three, four, five. Not there yet. One more land, and we can play this. I really feel like vindicating their creeping tarpet. Eh, maybe it's good though. <sighs> the tone, yeah. The to I mean, yeah. Tone's a good word for it. Everything is terrible. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, that's good. See, look. Now they get nothing out of it. Wow, they could have the creeping tarpet, blood crypt plains board and they would have just taken this anyway so everybody wins and we're gonna get a white source not a white source but that's okay god, they're still messaging me this is unbelievable <laughs> oh my god dude oh god i'm not even gonna open it because it's like you're just literally oh god it's just it's just sad now um one two three four get rid of everything but vindicate This is like this is literal harassment, right? Like when you have to message people on Magic Online because you because you're shitty enough to be blocked in someone's stream. Like who's really the like you're gonna you're gonna take the moral high ground and tell someone they need to calm down during their drafts or whatever, and like then you're gonna keep harassing them afterwards. Okay, weird flex. As you guys, uh... yeah, this should be the end. Yeah, what can you do? Oh, this is an interesting Nicol Bolas. This hand looks this. Ooh, <laughs> creeping tarpet was relevant. Turns off Frexian Arena. Turns off Vindicate. Turns off Colagon's command. Turns off Kaya. Wow, that Vindicate was pretty choice there. Uh, that hand looks pretty good. Oh, I don't think we want to board anything here. <laughs> uh, just wondering if we're going to see Mike again anytime soon. Mike is off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays specifically, and he has not been feeling uh, capable, I would say, to sit in the chair for like four or five hours because of his back and leg issue but I mean as soon as he's healed yeah it's fine but we I, you know it's uh, until that happens it's like whatever <laughs> oh dude number one MTG is all you have in your life says the dude who continues to harass me multiple times in chat and on the client itself Uh, yeah, I think we're just fine like this. Sort of light and shadow could be decent. This is theoretically a turn three primeval titan.
Okay, still looking, still looking on point for that turn three. Just get a camera and get a super long cord, travel through the house so he can be in bed lying down and the camera's above him. Yeah, no one, no one wants to see Mike be in bed uh, with a camera above him. Uh, we can also just play Vivian Reed and kill the Phyrexian Arena, which is pretty good. But then we don't get to play Primeval Titan. Whereas if we play Primeval Titan first, we give them one free card and then we can just not worry about it anymore. I'm going to do that. Don't discount people's needs and wants, yikes. Well, I mean, hey, if you guys want to see Mike B lying in his bed, doing his Mike B things, you can knock yourselves out. We're gonna take we're gonna take uh, Razor Verge and probably Windswept Heath, and then we can crack Windswept and Marsh Flats at some point. Crutch Jr., thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. It does sound disturbing and possibly breaks the Twitch terms of service. I agree with you. I agree with you. Oh no. Vivian Reed, no. Well, that's sad. Oh, that's even worse. Now we gotta deal with the. Uh... Look at this card advantage here. Don't be land. I asked you nicely. Let's crack you and get the one planes we have. We'll play Marsh Flats. Get the one swamp we have so that these aren't just dead lands. Uh, we're actually going to attack into this guy. And then we're going to just Eternal Witness it back. That's pretty good. Film Mike in bed bits. I don't know if 10 bits is going to do it. Uh, let's get Forest Forest. Look at all these lands we're just pulling out of our deck right now. Uh, probably win sub teeth because it gets back a. Actually, I could have assumed I could have sworn they were going to block, so I literally played this because I was reading the chat and I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to play this now because that was our plan. And uh, I'm sure they blocked, so I'll just get back primeval. Wait, there's no primeval site in the graveyard. I'd prefer a GoPro on little man. Yeah, that's actually probably better. A hundred cheer up and ignore idiots. Miss. Really appreciate it, buddy. Aprish. Oh, see, I couldn't even get that back with Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness, as the kids call. I'm just going to crack this guy, I think. Because there's not that many more lands in our deck. I think there's like... Was it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? So this is likely... Ooh, that's a good one. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can get a 6 drop. That's not super exciting. I'd rather just wait till next turn. And get an 8 drop. <laughs> so that gets one. And I'm probably just going to keep Tassigar on top instead of cracking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are two lands in our deck. I have to assume they're f forests. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think one of them is a forest. For Connick to say, well, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Jundasaur, this is the Bippity Bit Bed Fund for Mike B's return. Wow, that is a uh, that is a mouthful right there. Oh sweet! All right, I'm gonna pause this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up this 34, 34 rhinos video. Y'all got any more of them tooth and nails? Uh, we could untap this, but I don't think it matters. I think I'd rather just have Verdant Catech. I'd rather just draw the Tassiger.
Yeah, because we have to crack this to do that, and then we lose Tasker. Although, theoretically, every time we search a library with the course of a crucifix on the battlefield, the, the top card stays the same. So. They are at five. They get five turns with this Phyrexian Arena. I kind of want that, too, because you got a Phyrexian Arena. So. We can also just search for this guy. I think we're just going to actually get. Uh, let's attack first and see what happens. I don't want to attack here, and then they just block, and that's just sad. Although, if they didn't block Primeval Titan, I, I wonder what the odds are of them blocking this Corsair of Crucifix. <sighs> oh, the Mountain's fine, because we can actually just draw a Tark at this point. We do lose this. It might just be our Tasker here. Nah, it's probably Dravinsen Zenith. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Done. Let's see if the Knight of Autumn stays on top. Nope, it did not. You just killed your win condition. It's true. It's true, we did. Uh, we did see Force of Negation, and we also went over it on stream as well. Oh, that's a good one. Although it's not it's not exile, so they either just they just destroy this or I'm not really too afraid of this, whatever this may be. Oh, we just win that game. All right. Well, it, the old 1-2, I don't really consider our first round a win. I think it was just like uh I'm like <laughs> You know, it's, uh, you're lost. Sometimes you lose. Not a big deal. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out at meundies.com slash franklaporeo. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. You can also check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. And if you use the promo code and the link in my description, you will get 20% off your first three months. So definitely check them out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.